coming up. After this show, I got a week off, so it's going to be great. Do you, uh, do, you, do, you, do you see your family much? Uh, do you... Every every break, I like to go back and see my 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 folks, you know, and also mm -hmm. my uncles and aunts and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, they're great people. The old people, you know, what I find about the old people is... <laughs> Just in general. In general, they had so much more interesting lives than we do, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, we, you know, we, we, we go out, our generation, we go, okay, hey, let's go to a movie, and then we'll do the laundry and get some quarters for the laundry, and then we'll have a, read the Sports Illustrated, you know, and whatever, right? Uh, right, right. And, but these guys, they had lives, you know? Were they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> sure. Yeah. So anyways, for instance... <laughs> My Uncle Phil. You ever meet my Uncle Phil? I didn't meet your Uncle Phil, no. Oh, you didn't? He was... Yeah, we don't know each other that well. <laughs> Remember? That's true. Uh, no, so, I, I've not met your Uncle Phil. He's a good man, Uncle Phil. So he, uh, he was telling me, you know, he's just one of these guys that has so many lives pushed into one. He just does so many things, you know? Mm hmm And he was telling me, he says, he's a kind of a jack-of-all-trades, you'd call him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good phrase. <laughs> yeah, he's a jack of all trades. So he was telling me, he said, the problem is you're not really appreciated for any single thing because you're so good at so many things. You understand mm -hmm. what I mean? I hear you. Yeah. So he says, he said to me one time, he says, Norm, he says, we were just walking through his, home, his town, you know, mm -hmm. of uh, uh, Monkland, Maine, he lives in. Uh -huh. And uh, we were just walking through the town. He's an old fella, you know? Right, one of the old people. Yeah, he's 80. Yeah, 80, he's okay. 80 years young, he says. Uh huh. <laughs> so he goes, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, Norm, you see that barn over there, he says to me. I look over, there's a barn. I go, yeah, yeah. He goes, I built that barn with my own hands all by myself. Oh. But he goes, do they call me, do they say, there's Phil, the barn builder? No, sir, he says. I said, yeah, yeah. He goes, look over there, you see that uh, weather balloon? <laughs> he, says, yeah. he, says, <laughs> he says, I, he says, I, you don't know this about me, Norm. He says, I was one of the first men ever to fly in a weather balloon. Wow. He says, but do they say, hey, there goes Phil, the weather balloon pioneer? No. <laughs> he says, look over there, there there's a bakery right. that I started. You know, that mm -hmm. dirty bastard Bob has it now, but I'm the guy that started that bakery. Uh -huh. And I go, all right, all right, easy. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, I started that bakery and I was the best baker, but does anybody go, oh, there goes Phil, the great baker. No, he says, but he says, let me tell you something, Norm. He says, you have sex with one goat. And... <laughs> He says, people then, they say, there goes Bill, the dirty goat. <laughs> Get rid of that. We don't need that microphone anymore, do we? Wow, well, I do want to meet this man someday. He sounds fascinating. We got to talk about this. I would guess that uh, one of the, the, the good things about this, you had some time off. Have you taken some vacation? Have you gone anywhere, traveled? Yeah, anywhere? yeah, I went. Uh, I wanted to get away from all the showbiz crazy showbiz yeah so i decided i'd go on a vacation you know Great. and i don't uh uh like to go to hotels because all my years of doing uh, my nightclub act i uh, was i don't like hotels yeah. so <laughs> i decided i'll go you know my buddy tells me he goes hey you should go to one of them bed and breakfast you ever hear tell them oh, yeah sure yeah. yeah the idea is you go there it's a guy's house and you live in his room, and then he, he makes some breakfast. Right. Very... <laughs> yeah. It's a thumbnail. Yeah, you know? that's it, sure. So uh, I, I, I looked one up on the internet there, and I found one. I went to uh, Vancouver Island, Victoria, which oh, is beautiful. beautiful. Wow. Oh, my yeah. God. It's God's little country. And so I go there, and uh, uh, I, I, I look up my place where I'm supposed to go. I have it on a little piece of paper. And I knock on the door, right? And there's no answer. So I knock again, and there's still no answer. So finally, I look like in the window there, and there's an old man sleeping on a couch, you know? Yeah. So I bang on the door, <laughs> ringing the doorbell, you know? So finally, I hear like, hey, keep your pants on there, you know, from the inside. <laughs> and he comes to the door, old guy, you know, but I'd say 80, 85 years old, oh, wow. old Harold Delaney was his name. Harold Delaney. Yeah, nice enough gentleman, you know? And uh, so I get in there, and I says, well, I better go to sleep. There's no one else there, you know? <laughs> like, I thought it would be like a whole bunch of people in different rooms, you know? Yeah. And it was just me. Yeah. So uh, I go up, and I, I go to sleep, and uh, I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. And a knock comes on the door, right? Uh, a knock on, the, on mm. my bedroom door. Right. So uh, I figure, uh-oh, old Harold Delaney wants to have sex with me there. You know? <laughs> and, uh, 
<laughs> That's the first thought that went through your mind, huh? Well, I'm a young fella. Yeah, These but, days, you're anything not a bad goes. Looking guy, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm not a, Traveling uh, alone, why sure. not? And uh, uh, of course, that's not. I didn't come to Victoria to have sex with old Harold the Lamb. You know, I can introduce him sightseeing. Of course. Yeah. So then I hear him. He goes, well, "You ought to play some Scrabble." Oh, Scrabble. Yeah. So I say, "Okay, that's good. Sure. I'll play some Scrabble." So I go down, and he pulls out this old Scrabble game there, and we start to play. You know, and I like Scrabble. You know, so I get the first turn. You know, because I picked the lower letter, and so I get the first turn. So I make rabbit. You know, pretty good. It's a good word, and then, and then uh, I do it. I do it pretty quick. I take like a couple of minutes, and then old Harold Delaney, he takes like a half hour to like get his word, and the whole time he's not talking, he's not telling me old stories. Yeah. I like hearing old stories, you know. And instead, it was like for a half hour, it was just Harold Delaney going. <laughs> so then. So then after a half an hour of that, you know, I'm just sitting there, he comes up with his word, it's a uh, hat. <laughs> That's his word, yeah, <laughs> hat. So he puts it and he, he takes the, the word hat and then he puts it like way in the corner on that triple letter score, right. the triple word, the red one right. that you want to get to. Yeah, sure. But you can't just put it there. No, no, it's, it's got to have something, some relation to rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. You got to move up there, you know, <laughs> and finally get to there. But instead, he just puts it right there. Oh, no. Yeah. So uh, I go, all right, you know. <laughs> and uh, so then it's my turn, you know, I do something and uh, uh, quickly, and then again, the same thing, like, you know, and then time going by, and then every word, he, and I was coming up with good words, you know, I had a sleigh, you know, a sleigh oh, ride, yeah. and yeah. Uh, uh, avocado. Ooh. It was a seven-letter word. Yep. You get 50 extra points. I'm still way behind him. <laughs> he's, just, he's just freelance on the board. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And so finally I decided I'm going to, like, I got to say something, you sure. know? So he, and all his words were like cup and hat and <laughs> I think it was just like things he'd see around the room, you know? And so I'm playing excellently. I should be in the lead, but instead I'm like a thousand points behind. And finally, like, I, th I got to say something, you know? Mm. So he puts a boot, you know, up uh, on, on this triple, and it really annoyed me because I was building towards sure. the triple yeah. letter. And he just puts boot. And uh, so I said, finally, I got to say something here. And I go, hey, uh, old Harold Delaney there. Uh, I, I don't know. I, you can't put boot, boot there. And then he goes, uh, you never heard tell of a boot? <laughs> so I go, no, no, I know what a, a boot is. I'm just saying. He goes, oh, no, your fella goes out there to wear a boot. So I go, no, I know what a I made avocado. I know a boot. <laughs> you know? <laughs> It just took him forever, and I think, and also I noticed a weird thing, he had no, there were no blanks, you know, I, no, you had the, yeah. the blanks in the yeah. game, and uh -huh. it's always good to use any letter, sure. right? Yeah. I realized there's no blanks in this game, and I figured old Harold Delaney must have, uh, when he got the game, figured, that the hell is that, you know, and throwing it away. <laughs> can't use it. Yeah. Now, how was, how was the, uh, how was the breakfast? This is, uh, did you have the breakfast? There was no breakfast. I got up the next day, I, I was so... Uh, hungry from playing Scrabble all night. <laughs> so he says, uh, hey, Harold, how you doing there? Uh, uh, how about some breakfast? And he goes, I've never been much for breakfast. <laughs> so I go, oh, uh, all right. So I go, I, uh, I guess I'll go down to McDonald's and pick up uh, some breakfast or something, Harold. And he goes, can you get me an egg McMuffin? It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. That's all I know, man. You gotta quit. It's not all I know. I know other things too, but uh, be a kind of a wasted life if that's all I combed out of a dare. But, but uh, you gotta quit smoking, because otherwise you get old and then unhealthy. You know, you see a lot of that. You know, although some guys don't. You ever see those old guys? Doesn't matter what the hell they do to themselves, they just grow old anyway. You know, meet a guy, be the oldest bastard you ever met. You know, just does everything wrong. You know, every day I smoke four packs of cigarettes, I drink a bottle of Jack Daniels, and I hit myself in the head with a shovel every goddamn day. 
I'd like to die. God, I'd love to die. I... One time I put a shotgun in my mouth and blew the whole goddamn back of my head out there. Just a slight ringing in the ears. I can't die.